Welcome back to the channel. I'm looking at my Google Classroom and it's July, so maybe I'm a little ahead of things, but I'm looking and I have no classes. It's a nice clean slate. That's because I've archived all of those classes. That was the previous video, but I'm gonna show you how to reuse a post because you've done all the work. You have all these things over here in archived classes and you can see the last, everything that you taught and had a Google Classroom for. Did you know you can reuse any of those posts that you want to reuse in the next class? You created the assignment and the rubric and the directions, and it was a masterpiece. You don't have to redo that. You don't even have to copy and paste it. You can just reuse that class, and reuse that assignment. Okay, so I'm going to get into my master class down here for English 12 as an example, because I don't want to create a new class yet, because I don't know how that's all going to play out. And I'm going to restore it. You can do this with any of your classes if you need to double check maybe who was in the class or how something worked out or what the sequencing was and you, you don't just want to see it, you want to reopen it. So you can restore that class. When I do that, it's going to show back up over here on my dashboard. Here's my class. Now, this is my master class. This was the template that I set up. Here's all the master stuff that I wanted all the sections of English 12 to have. So when I go over here into classwork and I go to create, I can go down here to the last of my options, which is reuse post. If you have questions about any of the rest of these, there's videos about each of those in the classroom playlist, but here's reuse post. When I do that, it's going to send me back into any of the classes that I want to go see. It automatically sent me to sixth hour, which works. If that wasn't what I wanted. If I wanted something out of my journalism class or creative writing prompt or something else, I can see anything else I wanted to see. So for fun, let's go into creative writing. And it's going to show me everything that I did in the spring. Maybe there's the final I wanted to send them or a material of something or an announcement or watch the video and answer the questions or here's any of those things. Okay, so I'm going to pick this one. This was a form with a video and some questions about Jeff Kinney because a bunch of my students remembered reading Diary of a Wimpy Kid and I was trying to build off of that. I say reuse. It's going to create new copies of all of the attachments. In this case, that's the form that I used. And it's going to take it a minute to repopulate it, but then there it's going to be and it pops back up and it gives me some choices. I can retitle it. I can put in some more instructions. I could change this I can turn grade importing on or off. I can change how many points it was worth. I can change the due date. Obviously, it's not going to be due back in April when I did it with my students. You could put it in a different topic. I don't have this topic in English 12, so I want to put it in something else. You can do that. You can add a rubric to it. You can change the rubric you already had. You can do all of those things and customize it for where you want to reuse it. Once you do that, you say assign and it'll assign it to that new class that you've got. Look, there it is. Now, it's safe to do that here because there's nobody in this class. Nobody just magically got an email that said I assigned anything new because there's no students because this was the master class because this is the example for the video. But that's how easy it is to reuse a post. You can do that with materials, with questions, with quizzes, with assignments, with major writings, with anything you wanna do, you can reuse that post. So you've done the work, you like the assignment, or maybe you, you didn't like the assignment, didn't exactly work, you want to tweak it the next time you use it, you saw you can open that up and reuse it any which way you want to. So that's how to reuse a post in Google Classroom. I hope that saves you some time and, and gives you some options to go create new stuff because you're able to use items that you've already created. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. More information on the way all the time.